Okay, this episode of the TriStar Gym channel was filmed in Saskatoon. Uh, I was giving a seminar at the Alliance Gym. Thank you very much, Alliance Gym, for uh, having me and letting me film in your in your gym. I wanted to share what I did in this uh, seminar with you guys, uh, the subscribers to this uh, YouTube channel. Um, we did top position and bottom position. And this video, I'm going to be covering what I did in Saskatoon in the bottom position. I covered a basics technique. Okay, I call it advanced basics. This is a fundamental move, the one you're watching here. I'm teaching uh, how to transition from full guard to triangle, okay? So in this, te in this technique, we're not going to cover how to finish the triangle. We're going to cover how to get to the triangle. This works in gi, no gi, MMA. Uh, it's universal technique, okay? This is a beautiful technique. I do this all the time at all levels, okay? Whether you're fighting a black belt or white belt, you want to hit this move, okay? So let's look at the key details here. First thing I'm doing here, watch, I'm pummeling my arms inside his arms. So the starting point is my partner has... His arms on my chest or my stomach and I'm pummeling my arms inside okay this is what we call pummeling watch here it's really simple nothing really too much to describe all, all you got to do is dig your arms inside notice how I flex my abs and I sit up I'm not flat on my back I'm I'm pummeling with my whole body okay watch here when I start to pummel I'm gonna get into a, a crunch type position here see how my shoulders are not on the mat whenever you're playing guard you don't want your you don't want your back on the mat okay? you want to be curled up abs tight and now here I'm going to grab a collar tie, I grab the wrist, once I have the hands on the floor, watch here, look at this hip escape, this is key, okay, we're going to talk about the hip escape over and over again, watch here, I, I pass my left leg over the shoulder, notice how I have my, my uh, heel in the neck, okay, we're going to see this over and over again, see I put the heel right in the neck, and now watch, I'm going to connect my knee, watch this, my knee is going to connect to my heel, and now this is what we have, what John Danahar would call a uh, clamp guard. Okay, this is what we call clamp guard. So I went from full guard to clamp guard, and from here I'm going to jump a triangle. Watch how my uh, my legs are going to pummel, my arms are going to pummel, my legs are going to trap into clamp guard. You do this over and over again. Okay, so if you're a white belt, this is a fantastic uh, uh, drill for you to learn to teach you how to uh, move your hips. Okay, and I'm going to show this from different angles as well, and we're going to cover this thoroughly. Okay, so watch. I pummel. I grab the collar tie. When you grab the collar tie, just cuff your right hand around his neck, just like I'm doing here, and watch this hip escape. Watch this. This is the key. That's the key. Okay, so if you're a white belt, you want to make sure, look, I'm going to play that again. You want to make sure you hit this repeatedly. You have to do this daily. Okay, This hip escape is the heart of your guard. It's the heart of your guard. It's the heart of your triangle. There goes the heel and the shoulder. I'm connected to the knee. And now what I'm trying to do this, I'm doing all this because I want to get one of his arms inside my guard. Okay, so now we're not closing the triangle yet. We're going to see that in a different video. I'm just going to cross my ankles. I'm, talk I'm telling them, look, don't bother trying to close your triangle. Just cross your ankles for now. That's the first transition. Okay, this is a basics maneuver. There it is again. We're going to see it from different angles, and I'm going to go over the details again. Notice here how I'm going to switch right to clamp guard. Hip escape, clamp guard, take your leg out, and cross your ankles. We're going to see the triangle finish in different videos, okay? But it's so crucial. Now, here, here's a little gem. When I try to jump that triangle, I try to uh, transition to the triangle position. Oftentimes, look at this. They grab your thigh here. Okay, let me flip this around. They grab your thigh. That's huge, okay? When they grab your thigh, whether the guy's a white belt or a black belt, he's going to grab your thigh. Now, look what I do when he grabs my thigh. Watch what I'm going to do. I can't get his hand to release my leg. Watch, I'm going to grab the four. A lot of people grab the wrist and they try to fight the wrist. Forget fighting the wrist. Grab the four fingers and watch here. Once I grab the four fingers, I'm going to open my knee, okay? And I'm going to torque his wrist to the outside. I'm going to do a, a keto type maneuver, okay? And watch this. Watch how I'm torquing his arm and I'm opening my leg. My leg is doing the work, okay? My arm and leg are working together and that's going to break his grip. Look at that. Once I break his grip, I jump the triangle again. Okay, this is a very key a technique. It happens quite often. We try to jump the triangle from clamp guard, and our opponent grabs our thigh. Just grab those four fingers, peel them, and jump right into a triangle. Okay, I love to hit triangle. It's the first submission I go for when somebody's in my guard. If they try to posture out of my triangle or defend their triangle and avoid it, I'll go to open guard or butterfly guard or I'll invert the guard, etc. But the first thing I'm looking for is my triangle. Okay, so let's see here. Watch. I'm saying don't grab around the head. I don't like people to grab around the head here. You see, that's not a collar tie. That's called a headlock. Okay, so now you're going to see me transition to collar tie, and you're going to you're going to see the difference. My elbow and forearm are going to jam in his collarbone. This is so important because that's what I used to push off. 
Okay, so I need to, I need a strong hip escape. Look how I, look at that hip escape. My hips were here. My hips were here. And now look, they're all the way over here. Okay, so let's see that again. Look at that hip escape. This is key. This is key. Watch this. Look at this hip escape. And that forearm across his collarbone is what I'm pushing off of. And now I'm going to transition to clamp guard. Watch this here. Yeah, that's it. I go to transition to clamp guard. I grab those four fingers. He won't give me the, the triangle that I want. I peel my leg out. This time I stayed open guard. I kept my feet on the hips. I could have been in clamp guard. It wouldn't have made a difference. Here's a loose jump. You don't want a loose jump. You want a nice tight jump. Get that knee around the shoulder. Make it tight. Here it is again. I'm pummeling in. Hands on the mat. That's step number one. Step number two, collar tie. Pummel your arms in. Abs tight. Keep your shoulders off the mat. Watch here, I'm gonna lock up the collar, up uh, the collar tie. Watch here, my forearm is resting on his collarbone. Okay, I'm not grabbing a headlock. I'm grabbing his wrist. This is really important. And now here comes a powerful hip escape. The, the hip escape is the heart of this move. Look at that hip escape. That's a powerful hip escape. I'm gonna show it to you again to make sure you've seen that. Okay, watch here. Look at this hip escape right here. You can't get it wrong. If you practice it every day, you're gonna hit this right when you start sparring. You're gonna hit it instinctively. And that's going to create the angle for you to jump your triangle easily. Okay, without this hip escape, it's going to be very hard to take your leg out. Here comes the clamp guard. I'm going to connect my heel and my knee. Now, what's stopping my partner from posturing is this grip right here. Okay, the hand around his neck. Now, he wants to posture. He wants to get out here. This grip is not stopping him from posturing. A lot of people think, oh, I'm, going to, I'm just going to pull him down with my leg. That's not enough power. What this leg is going to do is that if he does posture, if he does posture, I'm gonna, my hips are gonna come off the ground. Okay, I didn't film that in the video, but this is keeping me, keeping my hips close to him. Why? Because if he raises up, I'm gonna stay hooked and lift myself up. Okay, so my hips would come off the ground. Okay, so watch this here. Pummel in, collar tie. Watch here, my elbow's gonna sneak in here a little bit, push off his shoulder. Clamp guard. There it is again. Pummel in. This is the heart of the move. Pummel in, collar tie. Jump that triangle. All right, guys, here's the reverse angle. I'm going to let it play through, and that'll be the, the, the transition of the day. Okay, we're going from close guard, transitioning to clamp guard, and from clamp guard, we're, trying, we're going to our triangle position. Okay, I want to get one of his arms inside my guard, so I'm, tra I'm transitioning to a triangle. Now, let's see, I'm not able to close my triangle. I'm just going to cross my ankles. In future videos, we're going to see how to lock up that triangle and finish the guy. That's another part of the technique. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.